Hey what is up guys, my name is Rizio, and welcome back to another edition of my Modern House tutorial series. Now today I'll be building another large sized house that comes with many awesome features, including a pond or pool area with the entranceway bridged across it, as well as having a unique upstairs area with two balconies. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. First up, we will lay out the foundation of the building. So let's begin by laying out a 19x8 area of cyan hardened clay that curves out a couple blocks at the front side and is 3 blocks tall in total. Now on the inside of these walls are to place the grass with spruce planks for the flooring. Then we'll cover over these clay walls with a layer of quartz blocks for the ceiling. Next we'll add in the front entrance area, so starting from the end of this front wall, go in a block and add up a 4 tall column of quartz blocks from each side. Then add quartz blocks across the top row of these quartz columns with a row of quartz slabs below them as well. Now between the columns let's add an iron door to the front wall with a button at the side for the front door. Next we'll extend out an overhang in front of the entrance, so go out 4 blocks from the quartz columns and add in 2 new ones here. Then connect these 4 columns with quartz blocks along the top layer, and also add in a 3x3 area of black stained glass at the center of this overhang for a skylight. Next we'll add a trim around the roof of the first floor, so begin by placing quartz slabs along the bottom half of all the quartz blocks. Then we'll add another layer of these quartz slabs half a block above the previous row.
Now let's head over to the right or left side of the building and add two quartz block columns along the walls a block over from the corners, and also place upside down quartz stairs between them. Then at the back of the house, also add another two columns that are five blocks over from the ends of the walls, with stairs between them as well. Next we'll add in all the windows and exterior decor to the first floor. So starting at the front side, let's add two three long black stained glass pane windows with iron trap doors above them. Then head over to the back and add the same two windows parallel to the front ones, however also place leaves under them this time. And now at the sides of the house let's add in a 2x2 window between the columns with flower pots at the sides as well. And lastly, between the columns at the back, let's also add in a couple 2x2 two two windows with flower pots at the ends. Next, we'll add in the second floor. So begin by placing four cyan clay blocks at both ends of the curved section on top of the roof. Now connect these two sections of clay blocks across the front and around the back of the roof, and then we can build these walls up to a height of three blocks. Then let's add in the roof by placing a layer of quartz blocks over these walls. And once we have the quartz covering over the walls, let's then extend the roof out an extra block so it creates an overhang. Next, let's add in a skylight by placing a 7x3 window of black stained glass at the center of the roof. Then let's also add a trim of spruce slabs along the edge of the skylight.
And now with the roof complete, let's go over to the back of the house and extend up the two quartz columns here to the top of the roof. Next we'll add in all the windows and doors to the second floor. So let's start at the front and add in a 3x2 window of black stained glass panes with iron doors above and spruce fences at the sides. Then let's head over to the back and add in a 5 long window at the middle of the wall with trapdoors above as well. Now for the right and left sides of the house, we can add in two acacia doors at the center of the walls, and then you can add in balcony furniture as you would like. Next we'll add in the pond or pool area, so starting from the front two entranceway columns, replace three grass blocks to the sides with quartz blocks. Then from the ends of the cyan clay walls, replace four grass blocks in front of them with quartz blocks. And now let's connect these quartz blocks at each side by diagonally replacing the grass across them. So now that we have an outline of our water area, let's go ahead and remove two layers of the grass and dirt within this section. Then with the ground cleared out, let's next replace the dirt along the walls and floor with quartz blocks. And now we can add in the water within this area by using water buckets or ice blocks.
Next, we'll add a walkway over this pond so we can access the doorway. So begin by placing stone slabs between the two front columns up to the door with four black stained glass blocks in the middle so we can see the water underneath. Then between the quartz columns on the sides, also add in a row of quartz blocks with black stained glass panes on top for the railing. And lastly for the exterior, let's add three small plants along each side of the pond using a spruce fence with two leaves on top. Now as for the interior, I'll leave that entirely up to you guys. However, as you can see here, I added in a few walls and a staircase which you can choose to copy or come up with your own design, but nonetheless, I'll quickly show you how I decorated my place as an example. But that is going to be all for this modern house tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear all your feedback and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed as that would be much appreciated. And with that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.